This is your average beginner Rust player. He loves to watch all of his favorite Rust YouTubers and streamers join servers and almost instantly snowball into full inventories of guns. But as soon as he joins a server, he plays for hours and all he has a show for it is a measly 2x2 and a box of bows and wooden spears. But little does this player know, there's an easy and realistic way of getting guns in Rust that isn't just snowballing or running oil rig 24-7. This is Ramsey. Ramsey joins a new server and within 30 minutes of playing already has a gun and is beginning to snowball before he even has a base down. How does Ramsey do it? How does he get guns so fast? fast is what all these new players are thinking. Well, there actually is an easy and realistic way of getting guns that even Rust veterans still use. My name is Peter, I've been playing Rust for over 5 years and I have close to 4,000 hours in the game, and I'm here to share the knowledge that I believe is genuinely useful for beginners and experienced players in Rust. I really do make it my goal to not just feed you useless information, but to actually try and teach you new things. I see so many new players try the most complicated and time consuming ways of getting guns, like going from a green card and a blue card and a red card and then trying to loot a monument with just a bow. Or they'll go and waste their time sitting on oil rig with an Ioka hoping to scavenge some guns only to get absolutely destroyed by a group of five with AKs and Metal Gear. And I just hate seeing new players do this because I know that this won't work most of the time. And even if it does, it takes so much time for it to work. The method I'm about to teach you is genuinely so easy. It doesn't take much time at all, and it'll work for you even if this is your first time playing Rust and you have zero game experience. This strategy I actually still use almost every single time I join a new server, and it works. And thankfully, it's super super straightforward. So the first thing you want to do when you join a server is you want to scope out the map. First look around at the vending machines because this is where you're going to get your guns. Look and see if there's people selling guns, preferably for cheap prices. But you're not just going to run up to these vending machines and buy the guns because that's dangerous and you have a chance of losing the gun and the materials you're using to buy the gun. What you should do first is find outpost. You don't even have to build a base near outpost, you just have to get there. Outpost offers you so much stuff like a safe place to recycle, research items, use a tier 1, and most importantly it has access to drones. All you're going to do is go farm the resources you need to buy a gun from one of these vending machines, and then you're going to use the drones to safely buy these guns. This method may be something that a lot of players already know about because it's genuinely just a really good method. One thing I don't see a lot of players doing is reverse engineering this method. I'm just going to be honest, most new players aren't great at the game, and that's okay, it takes time to get good. Most new players are just better at farming materials, and that's why reverse engineering this method can also be great. If you don't want to live near outposts or you don't have to travel all the way to outposts just so you can get a gun. I recommend building your own vending machine on your base and selling resources for guns. This way people from Outpost can buy from your shop. The one downside to this is that you need to make sure you're selling the right materials. This is going to mainly be scrap, sulfur, or high quality metal, or of course you're not going to get any guns. And you also have the potential of getting raided and losing everything in your vending machine. So to avoid this, only keep a small number of resources in your vending machine, maybe only enough to get like two guns at a time. That way your base doesn't seem like as much of a worthy raid to these people, whereas if your vending machine was loaded with materials and they could see that through the icon, they're going to go raid your base immediately and take everything you got. But of course, with a lower amount of materials, it's less worth it, they won't raid your base. And if you follow either of these strategies, getting your first gun should be pretty easy. Thank you all so much for watching, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more realistic rust guides in the future, and like the video if you found this useful in any way. Later.